This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video, we're going to see how you can add a chatbot onto your WordPress website. So a chatbots are a great way to uh, make conversation generate leads and get uh, information from your customers so uh, with the support assistant or the this collect chat bot you can uh, get information and also uh, interact with them in different other ways so with this you can just directly reach out to your customers pitch your ideas generate leads and also and turn them into a customer so uh, here you can see I have a chatbot that says hey I'm uh, assistant and do you need any help. So if you just go on with the con conversation you will be able to see it. Uh, you will be able to get the data and also uh, have a conversation and engage your customers. So I'll show you how you can add a chatbot similar to this in your web WordPress website. So for that I'm going to go to my dashboard. So as we are in the dashboard I'm going to go to the plugins and uh, add new. You're going to install a plugin uh, so the plugin is called collect chat so i'm going to search for that you can search for collect chat in the plugin directory and here you will be uh, given the choice of chatbot for lead generation and data collection by chat collect chat you can just click on install now and once installed you can just directly activate this plugin Once activated, you will be taken into a page similar to this. So this is the collect chat dashboard. So here it's just only three steps to do. Uh, one is if you are not a collect chat customer, you can just click on to uh, create a free account. You can make the chatbot using the drag and drop feature and then paste the code snippet that that will be available uh, on the ch uh, collect chat page. So we're going to see how you can uh, create a chatbot or you can how you can design the dialogue. So for that, I'm going to go uh, to create a new free account. So since I don't have an account, I'll be taken into this new page right here. Here uh, I'm, uh, I can go for the path. So once you enter, you'll be taken into a chat dashboard. So here you can see a tutorial video how you can make uh, the chatbot. You can just click on to next, 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 and uh, you'll be uh, finally taken into a design page. So this is basically the uh, section. This is the basic uh, the dashboard. So here you'll be having different options like uh, design, script, share. Then uh, here we design the app chatbot look and feel. So this is the positioning where the chatbot should be positioned. It uh, is it in the left, right, or in the middle uh, part? If I just click on to that, you can see where the where the chatbot will appear. So we'll going with the default uh, right button, uh, right option as uh, only. Then you can choose the avatar, whichever avatar you want. You can just choose that. You can just click on to the avatar that you want in your page. Also, you can choose the theme, whichever color you want, which uh, that's according to your branding, whichever color you want, you can just do that. Then there's a welcome message. As you can see, this is a welcome message. What are you looking for is a welcome message in this option, I mean, this uh, setting. So you can choose for that as well. Then there is script and the share button that will uh, come later on. Then there is integration. So uh, chat, uh, collect chat is, has different integrations. So if you are just connecting your chatbot with the Zap, your uh, webhook, with Mailchimp, Google Sheets or anything, you can just get the data that the users input and uh, get that data and use for different purposes like uh, sending newsletters or uh, chatting with them later on. So you can use these options and integrate them to uh, build a strong base. Then there is the settings so here. There are general settings of notification behavior target and translation. So you can translate to different languages. You can target audience during a specific time or specific behavior or anything. You can target specific chat port for those people as well. Then there is the results. So here is where the responses are saved. Here's where the summaries are taken and interactions and drop offs are measured analytics. Everything will come under the results section. All right. So this is the workspace. So workspace is where you can create multiple chatbots and uh, take choose one which is uh, useful for yours. So I'm going to click the workspace and here you'll be taken into a similar page. So here we'll create a new board. Uh, 
so when I click on uh, new board, you will be taken into a similar page. So here, uh, first one is the widget. Widget is similar to this uh, chat that we have. Then there is chatbot page. Uh, when you can specifically take a page uh, to only interact with the chatbot. So uh, that's another option. Then there is an embedding option. You can embed the chatbot uh, into different websites or uh, somewhere you want. You can use that. So we're going to go with the widget option. And then uh, there are different templates that's available. So you can uh, use the template, whichever template that you want. You can just look for that, them and attach into your piece. So to, for an example, I have an e-commerce website. So I'm looking for an e-commerce template right here. So here you can see an e-commerce assistant. So if I just click on to that, you can see uh, the chatbot will be available here. We'll just uh, create this and see how it looks like uh, in the section. So here the chatbot is there. So let's go to the script part. So here you can see uh, in the script part, there are different options like message, multiple choice, text questions, emails, phone numbers, appointments, yes or no question, multiple select, list, range, opinion scale, file uploads and numerous options. You can just drag it and drop it uh, in the section. So uh, to explain the script, this is a chat flow that's uh, designed uh, by the template. So here there is a question, what uh, do you need any help? And if a users reply, then there's a sure and the chatbot is asking for the item that the user is trying to purchase and asking if the person uh, knows the product ID or not. So here there are a few questions and uh, there are some logical reasonings if you see. So if a person gives a yes or no question for this question, the person will uh, be jumped into no. If the answer is no, the person will be directly jumped into six. So if not, if the person will uh, directly go for the five. Then there is uh, some uh, other questions like what is the issue that you're facing? So there are multiple options like uh, what the product is out of stock, need information, delivery, time, payment procedure so this logical jumping if uh, a person the product is out of stock that person that uh, user will get a uh, option that is of nine so if that person need more information uh, that person will be directed into a click uh, option for call or email or anything like that. So there are logical uh, reasonings So these options are available in the upgraded version only. So uh, for the upgraded version, you can just click on to the link in the description to get your web, uh, upgraded version. So the free version also uh, gives you a free uh, some basic features as well. So you can build a chatbot with that as well. So I'm going to show you how you can create a chatbot for a free version. So uh, if I just click on to the preview option right here, uh, here you can see they do need any help. If I click yes, there's a uh, this the chatbot that's running. Then if I'm clicking on shirt, you can see uh, the item is also there. If I don't know the product ID, obviously. So the that here the question is skipped to the no worries. This part is skipped. So here the uh, what's the issue that you're facing? If I just click on to the need more information part, again, the question will be skipped from the behind and give you information regarding the call and email option and uh, finally end this. So this is the uh, logical uh, jump that we are using uh, in this template. So this template is completely free. So if you want to just copy and paste it, you can just copy this and add it to your website. So I'll show you how you can share it on your uh, website as well. So before that, let me show you how you can create a free chatbot using your uh, using the free version. So I'm just going to click on the workspace. So here I'm going to click on new board and here I'll click uh, from scratch. So click on create. So a fresh new dashboard will be appearing here. So I'll just go uh, directly to the script part. So here you can drag and drop all of this. Uh, so before that, I'll just let me delete the basic template that's available here. So first of all, I'm going to add a message first, uh, like the welcome message that that was given earlier. So I'm going to add the message right here. So you can just you have options like duplicate uh, logical jump that we explained, then the edit part and you can drag it and then there's a delete option. So I'm just going to edit this section. My first message is ready. So next I'll ask a question so that the person uh, any user input. So for that, I'm going to use the text question. So I'll just place it there and edit this as well.
so my question is ready so the user will give any uh, reply to that so for that i'll again uh, choose for another question so that the con uh, the conversation is going ahead so i'll just click on to this question as well So in, here in this question, I'm asking for the name of the person so that uh, when I get an input, I, I can use it later on. So let me show you how you can do that. So I, again, I'm, I'm going to ask another question right here. I'm just going to edit this. So here uh, I write great. And here there's a trick. If I click on act, you can get the user's reply to uh, to get back to that person so if I, I just ask what's your name so if I just click on to that question that person's input that uh, that obviously has to be that person's name will be there so let's say if I just ask that person uh, may I know your name and that person gave an input of Alex so, so the next uh, reply will be great Alex all right so that's one way to go Okay, so I have again asked another question. So I'll just complete this and show you how you can add multiple other things as well. So uh, next in the in the next thing, I'm I'm going to ask the person's email address so I can get back to that person. So uh, you can just uh, click on to. Uh, you don't want to ask for an email address directly. So here we have an email option right there, and you don't want to ask like what is your email. You just have to go around uh, so that uh, the person will give you willingly. Uh, so uh, like most person are obviously afraid of this newsletters and promotional email so you, you don't want to ask them for mail id just like that so here i'm going to write it as so you have different options like back button and skip button so if you don't want to click on the back button as uh, the person will have an option to go back and uh, write uh, like answer for another question so if you want to add a skip button you can use that so i'm not going to use that as well so the, uh, there's another error message for the visitors whoever in, enter invalid answer so if let's say uh, the person the email id format is there like at uh, gmail.com if or any other at uh, provider so if that format is not followed that person will get an error message as well so you can choose that here also uh, one thing I forgot about is you can use emojis uh, bold text italics and uh, images GIF images etc in your chat to make it more interactive with the collect chat option so I'm going to save this as well if you want to add multiple links like uh, contact email address etc you can just click on to the links option and here if you just edit this, there are options for adding uh, email address, WhatsApp, Twitter, LinkedIn, adding multiple other links using this. So this is another option that you can uh, utilize in the uh, collect chat. So my chatbot is now done. Uh, so I have just added minor tweaks and uh, here and there. So I'll just show you uh, how this is done in uh, how this is saved in my page. So I'm just clicking on the publish option right here. Then uh, what you have to do is you can go back to the share option. So in this, uh, there's a share button. So you can add this to different space like website, web, uh, WordPress website, Cloudflare, uh, Shopify, Squarespace, etc. You can add it wherever you want. So this is a basic uh, collect chat option that uh, that is used universally wherever in whichever website. So you have made a custom website. You can also just copy and paste this code. So since we have a WordPress website, I'll go with the WordPress uh, plugin. So I'll just copy this and we're going to go back to our website so here there's a chatbot snippet that we talked about so i'll just paste it over here so i'll save this and once saved i'm going to go back to my website and here in this website you will be able to see my chatbot so here it is my chatbot is there and there's a welcome message if you need any help i'll just click on to that so this is the chat button by collect chat so you can eliminate that by uh, upgrading it to premium so here do you need any help I, how can i help you today i'll just give some option right there and here uh, the person will ask you for a uh, name 
then uh, you can see that my name uh, is uh, re reflected in the next question. So that's another great thing. Chatbot is asking for the issue that I'm facing. So I'll just uh, write delivery issue. And here there is. And then uh, you can uh, the person is asking for a mail ID. So let's say I'm not giving a right mail ID. So I'm just clicking the random things. So here the person is asking the, the there is an error message that's giving out. OK, so I'll just uh, write the right mail ID. All right. So uh, yeah, so that's that's another thing. So the uh, message is there. Then also the reaches at uh, option is also there. And then at the end, there's a uh, nice thank you message as well that I've just uh, added similar to this. So we have collected a lead right now, right? So we're going to go back to the result and here in the response section, you'll be able to see my response is being recorded with the mail ID uh, and every other things that's needed. All right. So uh, this is how you can uh, get the records of the chatbot. So even if you don't have a support assistant that uh, that's doing live chat, uh, this is a great option uh, for uh, doing the chatbot and you can interact with this. And also the logical part of this is really great. You can use that to uh, build uh, multiple chatbots, which in having a really live conversation with uh, the customers. So I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel as we come up with videos on WooCommerce and WordPress every now and then to get your website performance up and top. We'll see you in another video. Bye.